Hey y'all, welcome to Faithfully Bound. In this video, I would like to talk to you about something that is important to me. As a younger woman, I didn't quite understand this the way that I do now, but I would like to share a little bit of knowledge with you. As women, we have an incredible opportunity to help build our husbands up in their roles as leaders, partners, and providers. The Bible has a lot to say about supporting, loving, and encouraging our spouses. Let's take a look at a few verses. I did prepare notes, so if I'm looking down, please forgive me. I did go ahead and jot some things down so that I wouldn't miss the important points. Ephesians 5.33 However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. This passage reminds us that love and respect go hand in hand in marriage. As wives, we can love our husbands by respecting their role of leadership and supporting them in their endeavors. Proverbs 31, 11, and 12. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. This passage describes a virtuous woman who brings her husband good and not harm. As wives, we can be a source of encouragement and support by lifting up our husbands with our words and actions. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as, in fact, you are doing. This verse is not specifically about marriage, but it does remind us of how important encouragement and support is in relationships. As wives, we can help encourage our husbands in their work, hobbies, and personal growth. This helps build them up to become the best version of themselves. May we be a source of strength and support for our husbands, helping to build them up and encourage them in their God-given potential. This role as wives is very important and we need to make sure that we take it seriously. We are here to support and love our spouse and help them become the best version of themselves. If we can't love and support them, how can we expect them to love and support us? It is a partnership for a reason, and we were given each other for a reason. We are put here to be the helper. So where our husband might fall short or doesn't have as much strength in a certain area, then we are here to help in that. We are here to build a life together and become one, and we both need to realize these roles in order to help each other we must start with ourself. If you're having a really bad day, you're just not feeling it, you feel like you just wanna just jump down his throat, right? Take a minute, step back, and remember that he loves you. You are a team, you have come together as one, and just take a step back, take a breather, it really does help. Just get in your mindset that that is not how the day is going to go. You are going to help encourage the day and make it the best that you can because if you're bringing negativity in, then you can't expect anything else to be better, right? And if we want our husbands to lead and be that strong, supportive husband that lets us feel relaxed in our femininity, then we need to help him become that. And words out of the wife's mouth makes a huge difference. Whether they like to admit it or not, they rely a lot on what they think and what they feel that we think and feel for them. If they think that 
we don't support them and that they're not doing what they're supposed to or they just don't feel supported in anything and they don't feel like you have their back, then that's really going to affect him as a man because the wife, the partner that you chose, you both made a choice, right? If that partner doesn't make you feel loved, supported, encouraged, it's really not gonna help the other person. So just keep that in mind. It's so important and our words and actions are so powerful. Our role as women, it's a big role. Wives, mothers, we support, we encourage, we nurture, and we have to remember that we have to do that with our husbands as well. We can build our house up or we can tear it down with our own hands. So which one are you going with? I know which one I'm going with. Sometimes it really takes a lot of self-reflection in order to get into this mindset. I know it did for me. So I'm not trying to tell you something that I have not done or I have not been through and I'm not trying to act like I know something <laughs> and that I've always known it because that's not the case. Sometimes it does take a while to get in this mindset, but it really helps if you have people encouraging you in your marriage and are positive influences. So if you need encouragement and you think that you might need more of a community around you in order to help you be this person that you need to be for your spouse, comment below. I will help you as much as I can and you guys communicate in these posts, help each other. There might be something that I don't know or I'm not experienced in that you might be. So please help each other out. If you have any suggestions for me, please feel free to put them there. If you're not comfortable putting them in the comments, my email is in the about section of my YouTube page. So you can go there and you can email me if you feel more comfortable doing that. I love you guys. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. It really does help out. I hope to see you again next time. Bye y'all.